Hello everybody, welcome to Totally Tabled. My name is Shaggy and this is my review of The Loop by Pandasaurus Games. I have filmed a complete playthrough of The Loop, so if you haven't watched that, I strongly recommend you do so. That will give you a much better idea of how the game plays and whether it's right for you and your group. This is just my quick rambling thoughts. The Loop is a puzzly, fully cooperative board game with a deck building aspect. The players are time agents with unique special abilities tasked with stopping the evil Dr. Foe from spreading clones throughout history. The star of the show is Dr. Foe's time machine, the centerpiece of an oddly shaped board, which is a cube tower that randomly distributes time rifts to three adjacent eras on the board. I'm traditionally skeptical of gimmicky props in games unless they serve a critical purpose, and this one absolutely does. If you watched my playthrough, you saw how well the tower actually functions and practiced. You can never tell where the cubes are going, which adds a ton of tension, and it's just such a joy to use. I mean, look at this sweet cube footage. The next selling point is the card system that the game is named after. By spending energy cubes from the board, you can loop your cards. That is, untap all used cards of one type. This adds a fun element to the deck building as you try to load your deck with the same type of cards so you can perform insane loops later in the game. It feels great to pull off a multi-loop turn where you perform seven or eight or nine card actions. I once unexpectedly won a game by performing a four loop turn and it felt amazing. You'd expect having only three cards in hand would be limiting, but because of the clever powers of the cards and the chance to loop in order to use those cards over and over again, mixed with your unique special abilities, it all makes for a crunchy puzzle every turn. I never felt like I had a, a straightforward or railroaded turn in this game. The next immediately noteworthy aspect is the art. I personally love the quirky theme and the art. Does it make a lick of sense? Of course not. It's not trying to make sense. This, this game runs full speed ahead straight into a wall of silliness, and I'm happy to follow along. I mean, how can you not love Mr. Time? He is quickly becoming one of my favorite board game characters of all time. Lastly, I want to shout out the solo mode for the loop. Combining the starting decks of the different characters and allowing the solo player to have a bit of control over which character goes next is just such a great little twist that I'm tempted to incorporate it into a multiplayer game. I'm not sure how that would work, but I just, I really like the added touch of strategy. Check out the playthrough, you can, you can see it in action, but I think it elevates the solo game to really being my favorite way to play the loop. I should also note that the game comes with three additional variants that add new rules and, you know, really up the variety and replayability of the game. But I have not played with those yet. I'm, I'm very eager to, but, you know, my thoughts are based on sort of that base game alone. So anyway, should you buy the loop? I say yes, if you enjoy puzzly co-ops or puzzly solo games. I personally give it an 8.5 out of 10, and I think that could go up with more plays. And this is easily a contender for best game of the year. Thank you so much for watching this quick little review. Please check out all the other videos on my channel. Thank you so much and goodbye.